Hello and welcome to Charlie Brook South East. Um, this is actually my first late night loft video. Um, trying this out to see if I can do it without waking my son up, um, who is just a few feet below me. Um, right, as you can see, I've got the diorama up. Um, now, if you look in the top corner here, or not, top corner here you'll see the little screen that is coming off my mobile phone camera so you can see that here you see so I'm using that as my dual camera um, now I don't know if you can see this but I've got tinfoil here you may be wondering why well I think it was at Everard Junction when he done his um, realistic water um, he said about to stop seepage he put tin foil along the edge to stop it going down onto the, uh, the layer below um, I won't be laying the realistic water or putting the realistic water in tonight because as you see I've still got to paint it which is what I'll be doing now um, but hopefully um, next update fingers crossed um, I'll be doing it um, sorry if I sound a bit quiet as I say, I just can't speak too loudly. Um, now, I'm starting with my black. Um, I think I may have mixed it wrong, but we'll see. So this is this is what the diorama is all about, trial and error. Trial and error. So, I'm going to start the black in this corner here. Just bring it along till about here. Sorry if my hand's getting in the way, I can't see what's going on on the screen. Um, no, it's fine. Yeah. Um, so, you know, just get that darkness in that black in there. Um, thing I'm worried about is when I take this tin foil off is it going to come off alright <laughs> so I've nailed some wood to the other side I don't know if you can see it on the camera uh, yeah if I just oh, you can see it here mm, so yeah hopefully that's all okay I might have to do something with this here I don't know if you can see that on this one no you can't yeah. it's not quite built up enough and it might end up seeping onto the track I might have to stick a little bit of uh, filler in there or something right anyway just going to keep coating on this sorry about the noise from the tin foil I don't know why I'm looking on the camera at that. I think that might be enough. I've got another three colours to come in on that one. So, um, right. I mixed a little bit too much there. Huh. Um, just wondering if I could use it anywhere else, but there isn't really, is there? No. Right. Excuse me while I just clean up. So this is you see what I'm trying to do is mix the colours, like blend them, so it's you ain't got the lines. So that's why I'm gonna attempt to do this. Um like this. Excuse me one minute, I didn't bring any uh I didn't bring anything to dry the brush out with. So I'm just gonna have to use newspaper. I've got some good news as well in a minute, right? But I want to try and crack on with this. So, um, so that's the black. 
So now I'm going to be using raw umber, I think. Don't know which whether to use burnt or raw next. I'll use I'll use raw on the next bit. Give it a little shake. Open up the lid. This is all from the um I got the the uh, woodland scene it's colour kit. It's got all the different a lot of the different colours in it. Um so I'm just using that really. Um to uh to do this. Um but you have to bear with me as I say, this is like first time I've done any sort of scene like this. I'm hoping it pays off because as I say over the back of my layer I want to do my water scene. Um so I hope everything's coming out alright. Um obviously I can't go back. Right, I'm gonna try not diluting this. I'm just gonna paint it straight on. It's not I don't know why I never get to blend in, you see when I <laughs> whenever I do painting like this, it never blends in for me. But I'm sure I'll learn. Perhaps that's why we should water it down. So what I might do when I've washed the brush out. Wash the brush out a little bit. <laughs> Just gently dab some water on it. You're probably all shouting at the uh, your screens right now. No, don't do that. That's not the way to do it. Or you know, I might be saying, "Oh, that's a good idea. I'll try that one," but I doubt it. So. We're sort of trying to blend in, so it's just so it don't look like it's going, do, do, you know, in stages. I want it to sort of, you know, just look like one, one thing. I'm actually now regretting not watching the Woodland Sea next one video of this. Um, but it's all trial and error, isn't it, guys? All trial and error. There you go. Right. Just try and dry the brush out a little bit. Right, next colour, as I said, is going to be burnt umber. Mm -hmm. So say, sorry if I'm being a bit slow. Um, I think this, I don't know. Yeah, this should be okay to do. Um, right, I'm just going to dip it in the pot, I suppose. I'm not watering it down. Just don't knock the pot over, Stephen. Put it out my way. <laughs> right, probably start over here. See, apparently I'm trying, what I'm trying to achieve, and I think you'll probably all know this, is the perception of depth in the water. It's probably not going to look right, but like I say, it's my first attempt. Um, we'll see how it goes. Some reason that's taking the paint off. <sighs> All right. It's just looking liney. I don't know how I can. You know, blend it in. I 
Oops, done that wrong, haven't I? <laughs> You've just spotted a deliberate mistake. I've put the lighter colour now over the black. So I'm going to have to go over that again. I might need a couple of coats, I don't know. See, the instructions, which are here, I mean, this is what I'm using. Where is it? Let me. Here's the Wooden Sea Nix River and Waterfall learning kit. I've showed you it before. But it says here that you should. Uh, in disposable cups, mix earth colours liquid pigments individually, each with a tablespoon of water. Well, if I used all of it, I'd have loads left over, so I'm just trying to do it like this, so bear with me a minute. I'm just going to um, wash the brush out. So this is one, I think this is maybe my first or my second. Um, video showing you what I'm doing. So, as I say, you have to bear with me. Right, let's just put the lid on the, the raw, is it raw umber? No, burnt umber. We don't want any spillages, especially since I've got my track here. Mm. Oh, excuse me, guys. I've actually got a heater on up here tonight because it is. Um, uh, oh, my clock stopped working up here. Um, it's about nine, about nine o'clock, I think. Oh my god! I'm gonna have to give that a shake. I'm, uh, I haven't shown you the one I'm using. The one I'm using, the last colour, is yellow orchid. Or is it or no orca? But it seems to have separated. It's been a while. So you have to sorry guys, bear with me. We'll see. Now I'm not too fussed about the edge here because I'm going to put some talus, is it talus? Down. Oh. It's alright, I'm just a bit conscious of getting this over my dad's tripod. <laughs> I don't think I'd be that impressed. I mean, obviously, if this doesn't come out right, I can uh, <laughs> just get some more plaster cloth on here. I'll have to take the tin foil off again, but just lay some plaster cloth over it. See, I, I, I could now text the missus if I wasn't using my phone and say, cup of tea please, but I wouldn't be able to repeat the reply I get just in case there's young children watching my channel. So, yes, I'm not you Jason, you know, ring a bell and you get a cup of tea. 
<laughs> but there you go. Perhaps I've got a train to right. She'd kill me if she heard me say that. Alright. Well, there you go. I'm just going to wash that out and do a wash. Wow, look at that water. That's cool. Reminds me of um, when you used to do tie dyeing in uh, school, primary school. No, I've done it in primary school. It's not looking good, is it? I'm looking at it on the camera as well, and it doesn't seem to want to blend in, does it? I just had a thought, but I'm going to have the waterfall here. Hmm, would it be deep water all the way? Could I just paint it black? I don't know. I might hold off on everything else. I only do a short video tonight because I've been doing this for 17 minutes now. Do a short video tonight. I'm going to paint the other side. Um, sorry, but I need to move the phone camera, so I'm going to do a little bit that I want to do. Um, I say this is a di this is a diorama update, but it's just something I want to talk about. It's not major. I just want to talk about on um, Charlie Book, and I'll use my phone camera to to show you. Uh, just bear with me a minute, just while I clean that out as best I can with newspaper. Right, the phone camera's going to move, then I shall turn it off. I don't disturb it. Right, sorry. don't know if you can see, but over the back there, if you look in the top corner here, look at that. That is this one beam that I've uh, managed to acquire. Um, I'm going to use it for the lower section along this wall because I'm going to keep this this beam here, and it's going to go sort of below it for the to support the lower board that's going to have the lower track running on it. Um, it's just under nine foot long, and I didn't pay a single penny for it is all good. Um, just get a close up before I turn the phone off. Uh, let's see, it's... I don't know. I'm going to leave that to dry, see how it comes out. But... Oh, sorry, it's because my phone's on auto-rotate, sorry. Um, I'm going to leave that on let it dry and then if you guys can let me know what you think um, do you think that looks alright I'm going to sort that black out in a minute but um, let me know what you think if you think I should just paint the whole thing black and maybe put a bit of the um, more umber the darker umber which is this one here just at the edge here because obviously I've got the waterfall, I forgot you've got the waterfall, so it'll be deep water that... I don't know whether a waterfall goes into deep water For my next or trick, not. I'm going to be using this. Earth undercoat. But I'm going to do it neat. So, you're probably going to scream at me now. Where's my bigger paintbrush? I had it here somewhere. Just bear with me a minute, sorry. There it is. Right.
You're probably screaming at the camera now. <laughs> no. Just sorry, gonna make some room. Right, this was the original colour that was here, but then I put this on to make a little bank and and that, and I'm gonna put some static grass on here. But I've got this green grass, green grass, fine turf, green grass. Yeah, he was in a heartbeat. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that on the edge of the bank over here when this is all dried. Um, right, I need a bit more of that. Watch, there's going to be something going wrong, I know. Yeah, it's a good job this isn't live. I am hoping to one day do a live broadcast like Jason has done. Um, and uh, the Budget Model Railways does it now, so well, if you haven't checked him out, check, check both um, Five Elms and Budget Model Railways out if you want. You know. Um, budget Model Railways actually made a baseboard out of cardboard, but he done it. It was a thick cardboard, but he done it as though it was plywood. So he done sort of he stuck one and then turned one, stuck it, stuck it, stuck it. So it was sort of like plywood, but out of cardboard, and it was pretty amazing. I was quite impressed by it. Um, I was actually thinking of using it for this layout for Charlie Brook, but I've um, that's another thing I've managed to maybe, fingers crossed, source some wood, cheap, some plywood. It's going to be 12 mil ply. Um, I would have preferred maybe nine. I might ask see if he can get some nine, but he tends to use a lot of uh, 12 mil. Which I suppose will be alright because it's it's not an exhibition layout, so it's not going to be moved a lot. Hopefully, it's not going to be moved at all. But um, I hope I'm not boring you just watching me paint here. Um, but yeah, uh, so I've, I've maybe sourced some of that. I've got to talk to the guy um, about it. Um, I'm actually going tomorrow, oh yes, tomorrow, um, I'm a bit, a bit upset, but tomorrow, through my local station at Shoebrunness, um, I was meant to have the, uh, Princess Elizabeth, I was meant to be coming from Shoebrunness to Fenchurch Street in London, I think it's Fenchurch Street, or it's going somewhere along, along that line, um, I can't, it didn't actually give me because it only showed me where it was going to stop in my area and it was only stopping at it was going through Fort Bay um, stopping at South End East through South End Central through Westcliff I missed one there through Lee and that was the only stations it gave me because obviously that's just that's, that's my local area um, but apparently unfortunately um, it failed um, the other day, so they've had to sort of cancel it. They were going to use a Black 5, so I see 82 if you're watching this, I know you like the Black 5s. Um, oh, sugar, just got it on my dad's tripod, sorry. Um, yeah, um, they were going to use a Black 5s, but Network Rail and the Infinite Wisdom wouldn't gauge it. Um, so they've had to sort of, I don't know what's happening yet, whether it's still running or... Because obviously you've got people that have bought tickets, so, you know, okay, they could reimburse them, but... Um, so I don't know what's happening now. I'm going to go down and have a look um, at the... Uh, to see if, it, if, if anything comes through on the take my son. I'll get a video, I'll take my camera, I'll do some videoing. It might just be a diesel, but I'll put it on anyway, because it's a train, so 
it doesn't matter what it is, it's, it's still a train, isn't it? Um, I might get a few of my local C to C. That's who runs that line, or well, not runs it, but that's who um, operates the trains on that line. Um, get a few C to Cs for you, some some ones. I mean, I won't know what they are because I'm not I'm not up on what all these trains are, so um, so I won't be able to put put down. But I'm sure someone will comment and tell me what they are. Um, Right, I need to get the smaller brush now. Bear with me a minute. Um, that'll do. I've got a whole row of brushes in here, so um, I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. But as I said, it's my first time doing a, a video like this. You probably can't see what I'm doing anyway. Um, yes. I'm hoping that this works out because I might be able to do a few more a few more updates when my son's in bed. Um, it's nice though, isn't it? I mean, can I just take a minute, just listen. No noise. As much as I love my son, and as someone commented there, you know, don't apologise for him, as he's the future, and I'm hoping he's going to be part of the future of model railways. You know, he's, I hope he's going to carry on the legacy because it is a dying. Um, well, it has been reported. Sorry that it's a a dying hobby, but I mean, the amount of people that with the show that I put on the other weekend. I can't see it. I think I think what's doing it is the the expense. You know, the prices, everything's going up and uh which okay, you know, it's inevitable. Things do go up, nothing stays the same. Um I mean the price of food's gone up, so you know, you could say the same about that, you know, we're not we can't stop eating, we've got to all eat. Um but uh I'm hoping, yeah, he's going to be... I know I'm getting it on the ballast. Um, I'm hoping he's going to be one of these who will carry it on. But he'll probably get interested in girls and cars and all that lot. That's, you know, that's where I, I lost a lot of my stuff, like model railways and stuff, because, you know, women and cars. <laughs> yeah, um... Sorry, yeah, going back to uh, the model railway, model railway, the railway tomorrow going out. Um, I'll, uh, I'll get some video of stuff. If there's any trains that come through, um, I'll try and get them on video so you can see sort of what, what runs through my local place. Because uh, I've got two lines, you see that I can use, they've got the uh, South End Victoria Liverpool Street line um, and I've got the uh, like that one, Shubiness to Fenchurch Street so um, uh, that's run by uh, Great Angular, it used to be a Bellio, Great Angular, but they dropped the Abellio, didn't they? Because there was some really bad reports. Oh, I don't listen to it all though. Um, to be honest, I don't really use the train a lot. Because I drive, so... Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm rambling on, I know. Right. It's just really awkward to get in some of these places. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about that river bit. If you think I should change it. And just have it all black. Oh yeah, I've got to do that black, haven't I? Um, 
I'll probably miss loads, but it's going to be grassed anyway. Um, I've just got to do that other side. But, um, so I'm just trying to concentrate. I don't want to put too much on at once. Um, yeah, let me know about this. Like the river bit. If you think I should do it all black. And just have it as a deep abyss of water. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong here. Um, yes, you're probably going to say I'm getting it all over the uh, ballast. But I've got an airbrush coming for Christmas. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I'll be able to do my track weathering and I'll, I'll sort that all out with the airbrush. Hopefully. <laughs> I'll get some practice in first. Um, hopefully it's a nice airbrush. Um, it's from is it RGB Tools. There was a guy on here. I can't. I must apologise. I can't remember who it was who put me onto them. And he said he's got. A, he's had a couple of airbrushes off them, and he's never had any trouble with it. So there you go. Um, I'm nearly done now. So you're probably all breathing a sigh of relief. Um. But thank you for um, putting up with me for the last 33 minutes. Jesus, this is going to be a long one. Um, I might edit it down a bit. There's a few bits I might take out or speed up. Um, yeah, like this. And then you won't hear my talking. Um, Sorry about the silence, it just... I'm trying to, like... I get into a zone, you know? Um, I do any, and I talk, and then I stop. Probably all thinking, can't you just stop? All the time. Um, my hand's probably in the way of the camera. Yeah. I'll turn it around, you can see. I might take it off the tripod actually, and then you can see what I've done. Um, right, that'll do. Just wash these out. Um, I'll take this downstairs with me anyway. Yes, I know you're probably shouting, it's all the blackout, it's all the blackout, which I'm going to do now. Still got some black in that tub that I've overwalked. Right, if I put all my paintbrushes in now, bar the one I'm just about to use. Right, just let me bring the camera back round. I don't know whether it's that tin foil that's making it look a bit funny because obviously it's reflecting. I just need to sort out this bit here. I don't know, as it's drying, I don't know. It might, it might be alright. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I'll post a comment. I might take a picture um, and put it on just some pictures uh, like a slideshow like I've done before with this just so you guys can see what it looks like when it's dry. Um, or I might put, sorry, put the video on. Hmm. Because yeah, I want to get it on to get the thing. Um, Well, I'll see anyway. Um, so there you go. My first video of me doing something. You haven't seen my face. Um, 
Yeah, let me know what you think of the idea of the tin foil. And say, I think it was Everard Junction that, that done it. Um, yes, I know I've missed I'm not done here, but I'm going to put, like, the talus, the stuff. Brown, fine, medium talus, this. I'm going to put that all around the edge there. Um, I was thinking about doing a little island with a tree, but it's not a big enough area, I don't think. I think it would just be a bit too much, wouldn't be enough room. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I might put some talus built up, so it it's like a... You know, I can use the... Because uh, I've got this, I've got the old um, realistic water. It's only a little tub, comes in that learning kit. With a little thing of water effect, which is going to be used for the waterfall. But what I want to ask is, um, when I'd glue like the, the grass and the talus down, uh, sorry I'm just wiping a bit of mess up, when I put the talus around the edge here, of course this is what was going to be coming up to it, and I'll probably use the talus actually to fill that in, but yeah, um, when I put the talus in, and if I put a bit here, and I probably won't be any grass, but I've got this stuff, scenic glue, would that be okay to use with the realistic water, because I know PVA is not a good one to uh, to get anywhere near realistic water, um, just let me know on that one, because uh, then I know how to stick the talus down and the grass or whatever, um, and for like over there when I do my scene. Um, but yes, I think I'm going to call that a night now, as I say, that's like 38 minutes just to paint that little area off. Um, and so that's, um, this is what I've done. This time. There's a the tinfoil, we see. I know it's coming up a bit high, but water is not going to come up that high because it will flood it, but that's what I've done. And all that bit along there, and that bit there. I know there's bits of gaps, but I'll fill that in with some grass. I mean, obviously, it's all going to be grass, this bit, so... And this bit's going to be grass, and I'll put some static on. Still looking good, the old static, and I still love that hill. Um, in the tunnel. And I've still got to sort this out. Here. Yeah, probably, um... Say, just run some grass up there. Um... Yeah, just to cover that up. But I'm still impressed with this though. How I've got this little bit of crop here. Um, in the waterfall, I can't really see that because the tin foil gets in the way. But yeah, right, anyway, I'm going to go now because that's 40 minutes. Um, thank you for watching. As I say, please comment. Let me know what you think. Should I paint that this area black just a whole lot? Maybe leave one of the d darker browns. Just going around the edge here and then like the more black. Just use two colours. Um, and let me know about that scenic scenic glue. If that's okay to use. Do you know if that's okay to use with realistic water? And um, yeah, and I think that's that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. I say please comment, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and, uh, share, like, you know, if you, if you, if you want to, I mean, obviously you don't have to, and, um, and thank you, because my Shoe Brunesse video, last time I looked, actually, I just, sorry, quickly have a look, my Shoe Brunesse is sitting at 1.6k, and that is, like, excellent for me, that's my, that's really, uh, and I have actually got 177 subscribers, so they haven't gone up much. But it's all good, 177, you know. So, thank you. Thank you for all your support, you know, and help. And so I've got my beam over there. Uh, I should be getting some more soon as I'm going to, um, to my local yard to get some prices on the wood. And then obviously I've got someone that I might be able to get it cheaper off of. So all this might be going. 
and being replaced with um, with better stuff. So thank you for watching. Have a lovely evening. And goodbye.